Recognize that scene? From the movie Patriot Games, it is the U.S. Naval Academy's Gate 3. Today, on A History of the Navy in 100 Objects, we bring you a more recent piece of history, the U.S. Navy in popular culture as depicted in the movie Patriot Games. First, Claude Baraby, the director of the Naval Academy Museum, will give us a brief overview of the movie. Who was Jack Ryan? Jack Ryan was a, a fictional character uh, written by Tom Clancy, uh, you know, one of the top military thriller writers of the later 20th century. Jack Ryan in the books, in Patriot Games, The Hunt for Red October, etc. He's a CIA agent, but he's also a professor at the United States Naval Academy. He has a PhD in history. And so that's why we see his photo even today displayed uh, here at the history department. When Harrison Ford came to the Naval Academy for some location scouting, he was introduced to Craig Simons, the chair of the history department at the time. We are joined by the Naval Academy's very own Jack Ryan. Hi. I'm Craig Simons, and the object we're talking about in this segment is this couch. When I was chairman of the history department back in the late 1980s, early 90s, uh, we learned that a production company was coming to the Naval Academy to film Patriot Games. And Harrison Ford, the star of that, would be on campus in the yard to try to find out as much as he could about the Naval Academy and the character that he was portraying, Jack Ryan. I happened to be chairman of the department at the time, and because of that, my office was big enough for the production team to put up a camera. And so some of the scenes in the movie were shot in the office of the chairman of the history department. And there is a scene in which Harrison Ford sits on this couch, uh, talking with his, his assistant in the film uh, about uh, ongoing events. And so this couch made it into major motion picture history. Uh, it was kind of fun having uh, Ford on campus. We all tried to be very cool about it. Uh, people chatted with him as if, you know, somebody like Harrison Ford was in the department every day. Uh, and he, uh, he came to several classes. I know he went to an English class. He came to a history class. Came actually to my class. And I'll tell one quick story about that because I think it's kind of interesting. And says something about the way that uh, people see what they expect to see and don't see what they don't expect to see. Um, when I walked into class, two-thirds of the class were already seated, uh, and I was up at the podium fiddling around, and Harrison Ford went back and sat in the back row. Most students thought, oh, well, okay, here's a visitor to class. A few of them noticed who he was and went, oh, my gosh, that's Harrison Ford. But just as class was about to begin, a midshipman came to the door, knocked, as is appropriate, said, sir, permission to come aboard. I said, come on in. He came and went to the back, and there was someone sitting in his seat. So he said, sir, you're in my seat. And Harrison Ford went, oh, I'm sorry, and got up and stood at the back, and the guy sat down. Well, about five, ten minutes into the class, Ford had apparently seen as much as he needed to see of that class, and left. And the minute the door closed behind him, the entire class turned on this kid and said, are you crazy? What are you doing? You made Harrison Ford get out of your seat? And he said, who? They said, Harrison Ford. He said, no. He said, yeah, that was Harrison. No, it wasn't. And so the students never let him forget it for the rest of the semester. But it was nice having Ford on campus. He was, he was a very nice fellow, very low key. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson was a little more ebullient. Uh, we got along very well with Samuel Jackson in the wardroom. And uh, all in all, had a great time. But that's the story of this couch and why it's in the film. I think movies play an important role uh, for the Navy and have ever since movies existed. Uh, some of the great films of World War II, of course, boosted morale during the darkest days of that conflict and have been great recruiting tools for us, uh, us being the Navy. Uh, in particular, I remember sitting on the admissions board here and uh, finding out that of all the reasons listed by applicants for why they were excited to come to the Naval Academy, among the top uh, reasons listed was that they had seen Top Gun. So I think movies still play an important role um, and, and in effect always have. Thank you for joining us today on A History of the Navy in 100 Objects. Visit us at the Naval Academy Museum to see this piece of history for yourself.